Hi everybody, this is Tanya from the Frigo Cafe and I'm coming at you today with a little chit chat video. Um, from the title of the video, it says that um, I'm dropping, I got a big bombshell dropped on me, which is now yesterday since after midnight. But um, I wanted to, I've been talking about this for a while, about telling you guys how my grandkids came into my life. And that's kind of part of this video, so I kind of wanted to start out with that. Um, I don't know if any of you know, but my grandkids are not blood related to me. Um, what? And I'll try not to make this too complicated. Um, I'm sorry if it ends up being that way. Um, but what happened was my stepson was dating my grandkids' mom, and she was pregnant with my oldest grandson, and. Um, Basically, she was about ready to give birth to my oldest grandson, and um, they didn't want to stay with her mom, so they asked if they could come live here, and of course we said yes. So, <clears throat> you know, so he was here, he was he was literally born the next day after they moved in, um, so, you know, they were here, I mean, right away we, we bonded with him. You know, they, we said, if, you know, you're going to live here, we'd like to be Grandma and Grandpa, which were Grammy and Papa, so that's what they call us. Um, so anyways, and then they lived here, um, they ended up breaking up, and she moved out um, when my grand, oldest grandson was 11 months old. So then some things got complicated, I'm not going to get into that, and she ended up getting pregnant with my youngest grandson and she ended up having to move back in here um, and then she lived here for a year and um, so she was living here when she had the baby and all that so basically that's how they have come into our lives it doesn't matter that they're blood um, they're my grandbabies period um, my family you know, like, uh, the, most of them aren't very understanding about it. I mean, you know, and they really haven't, like, my parents have never met my youngest grandson. They've met my oldest one a couple times, but, um, you know, we don't really spend any time together, together, whatever you want to say, you know, but that's fine. So, it's a little complicated, you know, um, but um, it's really kind of sad that we've been more, family to those kids than their blood relatives have been and that's just the way it's worked out so whatever but anyways you guys you're never gonna believe what happened to me yesterday this is um sunday so i get a message from you know my grandkids mom and she said well I'm in the hospital. I had my tubes tied. And I said, oh, um, why is that? What happened? You know, I thought maybe she had gotten sick or something and had an emergency. And she said, well, me and my boyfriend had a baby girl last night. And I'm like, what? Um, you guys, I didn't even know she was pregnant. Um, she was eight months pregnant. And I kind of suspected that she was pregnant, you know. But then I'd look at her the next time, and I'm like, oh, no, she's not pregnant. You know, maybe she's gained some weight. Because she didn't carry this baby the same way she did my other grandkids. So, And I know they say that you carry girls differently than boys, and she sure did, let me tell you. So I was stunned. I'm like, what? You know, And but the baby has complications. Um, she was born with a club foot, and then she was born with... Um, four of her fingers are deformed I guess or I don't I'm not even sure if they're deformed or if they're just not there it's a um it's a, it's a situation whatever it's called ABS it's amniotic something I, I don't remember what it is now I'm sorry but what happens is when the baby's in the amniotic sac um sometimes these strings of flesh I guess for lack of a better word pull away from the amniotic sac and they can wrap around the baby's body um like the one wrapped around her ankle which caused her 
to get the club foot and then some wrapped around her fingers and I guess sometimes what happens in the sack is they, if the strings are tight enough it'll um, actually amputate the fingers or whatever and then <clears throat> and she got lucky um, because sometimes what happens is that's how some babies get cleft, cleft lips or cleft palates um, because it wraps around the face but she doesn't have that. I do I do have one picture of her. I have not been there to see her yet because she's in Madison, which is an hour away from here. We might go see her tonight. I'm not sure yet, though. I'm still in shock, you guys. I always wanted a granddaughter. I never thought I'd get one. I'm in shock that she's here. I'm in shock that, you know, she's got problems. As soon as I heard, like, it was kind of weird because, like, my husband, you know, was in shock too and as soon as you know we were talking about it and we heard what happened you know he goes well he goes well you finally got your granddaughter that you wanted you know and I just like got instant tears and you know I just I'm still in my head just like really you know I'm just reeling so anyways her name is Riley R-Y-L-E-I-G-H and then her middle name is Grace so I, I think it's a beautiful name and she's beautiful so Hopefully we can go see her tonight. I don't know for sure. But if you guys would say a prayer, because I know there's been a lot of specialists in to see her. And like when she was first born, they were saying that she couldn't maintain her blood sugar levels. But I guess she's been eating pretty good and stuff. So that's good. She was almost six pounds when she was born. She was 5'10". Um, and then she's 18 inches long. So, and the only picture I have of her, it just shows her face. And she has, you know, little pudgy cheeks. So that's good. Um, my son was born early also. He was 5'6 um, and 18 and a half inches long. And I'm telling you, he was this little thing. So, you know, um, she's not like on any oxygen or anything like that. And, you know, they're, I guess, you know, she's going to be fine. Um, her mom is just worried, you know, about her. Uh, getting teased when she gets older and stuff like that. I said, oh, please. I said, she's going to be fine. I said, you know, we'll make her tough and stuff. So, <sighs> I'm just, oh my gosh, you guys, I just can't get over it. I'm, I'm, I'm like, what? <laughs> you know, I just, um, now I want to go crazy, of course, because I always said, oh man, I'm, I'm going to be in big trouble if I have a granddaughter, you know, because I'm going to go broke, but for now, I'm not going to go crazy. I'm thinking maybe we can stop and get her, find a couple of preemie, um, like onesies or something, you know, for her to wear. Because I'm sure they don't have much for her. And they said, I said, why didn't you tell us that you were pregnant? And she's like, well, I didn't find out until it was way late in my pregnancy, which I don't know if she's telling the truth or not. So, but, um, you know, she's like, I didn't even tell my mom until you know, whatever. And I'm like, okay. So cause we've been through a lot with this girl. Let me tell you, I'm not going to get into all that, but we've been through a lot. And I was really upset that she didn't tell us ahead of time. So anyways, guys, that is my news. Um, so I will share more with you, you know, if I find out anything else. And like I said, just please think positive thoughts or say a prayer for her. Um, I don't know when she's going to get out of the hospital. Um, I know her mom's getting out like Tuesday or something like that. So right now she's in the neonatal intensive care unit. Um, so, and I'm not sure what they're going to do about her club foot, if they're going to have to do surgery or not. So I did my own little research, you know, of course, on all her, her issues that I know about. And, um, you know, it sounds like, it doesn't sound as dire to me as what she was first talking about. So I guess, you know, that's a good thing. So I'm more concerned if she's going to have mental issues, which I don't think she's going to. So anyways, guys, I'm going to get off of here. It's like, you know, almost two in the morning and probably going to do a little, little bit more work. And I know I have not done, I apologize. I have not done my drawing yet for my 500 subscriber giveaway this week has just been this last week has just been crazy and I know I'm like a week overdue I will try to get that done sometime today 
Um, but if we end up going to Madison, it's probably not going to happen. I will try to get it done tomorrow, if not. So I am sorry about that, but I will have a winner drawn as soon as I can, you guys. So thanks for hanging in with me and having patience. I appreciate it, and I appreciate all of you. So have a good week, everybody, and I will talk to you all real soon, and thanks for watching this. Bye.